Praise the Lord. Good evening and welcome to this live broadcast. My name is Pastor Aliba Obina and I'm strongly believing God that he's going to use me to be a blessing to you this wonderful evening. Before we start, I would like us to take a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the hearers this evening. And I want to say, Lord, that you will bless everyone that will hear this word and let the word bring forth life in them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Uh, so then we are going to be having something very important. We are talking about engaging praise for victory. Engaging praise for victory. Engaging praise for victory. Turn your Bible to Psalm chapter 8, verse 1 immediately. And uh, I want you to read alongside with me Psalm 8, verse 1. The Bible says in verse 1, it says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. This has to do with praise. We're talking about engaging praise for victory. This has to do with praise. You see, as a child of God, one thing is very important. If you want to be victorious in all you do, there's one secret that you must learn. You must learn how to engage the power of praise. You see, there is, there is, there is praise, there is, there is the kind of praise you, you give to God, it will automatically cause your victory. Victory can be achieved in all that you do, in your business, in, in your working place, in the sphere of life, in your everyday encounter in life, you can have victory. God has assured us victory and I am here to let you know that you can actually achieve victory. You can achieve victory. There is, there is so much gain when you engage praise in life. Now, I, I want to take my time to, to break this down uh, so that you can be able to understand what I'm communicating with you. You see, when you talk about the word engage, the word engage, engage means, it means uh, uh, drawing favorable attention. It means drawing favorable attention. You are drawing a favorable attention, something that is going to work on your own interest something that will work on your own interest, a favorable attention. Now, who are you drawing his attention? You are drawing the attention of God. I know that there is so much power in prayer, but there are things that prayer cannot do, but praise will do it. There are informations you can get from the altar of praise. There are victories you can get from altars of praise. Back in those days, they used to say that, uh, uh, you have prayer stop, praise continue from there. I want to let you know that God rejoices when we give him praise. Do you know why? Because praise brings his attention. Praise gets attention fast. Look at the Bible says, how excellent is our God? How excellent is our God? When you are going through trials, when you are going through tough times, when you are going through difficult times, most times what you just need to do is to raise the altar of praise. Engage praise. Engage praise. That is the focus. We are focusing on you having the capacity to look away from what you are going through. Look away from the difficulties. Look away from the shame and the disgrace and whatever that the enemy is presenting to you. Because most times when the enemy presents these things to you, they are being presented to distract you. I hope somebody got that. They are presented to distract you. Some time ago, God said to me, he said that you must learn to be focused because in focus is where your achievement is. He said in focus is where your achievement is. And I realized that whenever the devil wants to get a child of God distracted, all he needs to do is to create confusion somewhere, create something somewhere just to get that person distracted. You know why? Whenever a child of God is distracted, he loses his focus. He is not able to do anything. He is not able to get any problem solved. But you know what? In situations like that, we are. It seems like the world has come upon you. It seems like everything is getting bad. It seems like everybody is running away from you. It seems like nothing is working. Engage praise. Engage praise. I want to quickly uh, uh, read a scripture to you because of our time. Let me read this scripture to you. I want you to turn to uh, the same Psalm chapter eight, verse two. 
same Psalm 8 verse 2. Look at Psalm 8 verse 2. We're going to look two, look into two scriptures, NIV and Amplify. Look at that verse 2. The Bible says there, they said, uh, we're reading from King James first. For those of you who are King James children, the Bible says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, has thou ordained strength. Oh, hallelujah. He said, has thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou might steal the enemy and the av- and the avengers, you're going to avenge them. You see that? You're going to avenge them. Now, look at something. I want us to look at the, the NIV. It says, through the praise of children. Oh, hallelujah. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemy. Hallelujah. He said to silence the foes and the avenge. Imagine that. He said through the mouth of babies, through you, God's child, God's children has raised forth praise. You need to understand this. In other words, praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. And when you know how to use praise, there is nothing that you cannot get solved. When you know how to use praise, there is nothing, no solution, no situation that you are looking for that you cannot achieve. You can get it at any time when you praise God. God stands on his feet and begins to do things. When you praise God, he commands things to begin to work on your behalf. When you praise God, he, he, he silent. The Bible says, he silent. I want you to look at the scripture. Let's look at the scripture one more time. He said, through the, through the praise of children. Through the praise of children. Who are the children? You and I. We are the children of God. Hallelujah. We are the children of God. And he said, since I was born, I have not seen the righteous forsaken. All his children begging bread. Listen, the Bible said something. He said, who among you, when his son asks of bread, will he give him a stone? Or when he asks of fish, will you give him a serpent? He said, if you then, being evil, know how to give good things to the children. He said, how much more will God who sits in heaven do better things for his own king? We are the children of God. And the Bible says in the NIV's translation, it said, through the praise of children and infants, you have established strongholds against your enemies. God has established strongholds against his enemies. And he said he has silenced his enemies. Brothers and sisters, there's something I want you to understand. You must learn how to engage praise. Because praise is your weapon. Praise gives you victory. Praise brings victory to your doorstep. Listen to me. Hear this truth. In your marriage, if it's not working, understand this. Praise can give you the solution that you are looking for. Praise can grant you what you are looking for. If your marriage is not working, you'll be looking for kids. You'll be looking for a child. You'll be looking for children. And it, it seems like you are not getting anyone close to you. Praise gives you what you are looking for. Stand on your feet. Praise God. When you praise God the first week, you didn't get results. Don't worry. Continue praising him. Second week, third week, continue praising him before you know what is happening. Solution will come from nowhere. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ever think or ask. When you praise God, the tension disappears. When you praise God, frustration disappears. When you praise God, victory comes to you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter who wants to sack you from your company. Oh, engage praise. You may be looking at your enemy. He said, A thousand shall stand at my right hand, ten thousand at my left hand. He said, It shall not come near to your step. Do you know why? We are the children of God. What did your Bible tell you? He said, you have overcome the world, little children. (laughs) He said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You know why? You have overcome this world. You are the child of God. Refuse to settle down for less. You must learn to engage praise. Oh, there is victory when we engage praise. Hallelujah. There is victory when we engage praise. Say this, I cannot be frustrated. I cannot be I cannot be disadvantaged. I cannot be at the backside. Say this again. I know who I am. Say this again. I'm engaging praise today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to speak in tongues one minute where you are. Because God is doing something. Makalosi paradasha. Oh, rege Listen, 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 listen. I want you to understand this truth. Understand this truth. You see, 
Uh, when we talk about victory, I uh, just little minutes, Momo. When we talk about victory, look at this. When we talk about victory, there's something very unique you must understand when we talk about victory. He says uh, victory means uh, uh, to be triumphed. Victory means to be triumphed. It means to be triumphed. That is what it means. Victory means to be triumphed. That is the meaning. It means to triumph. What does triumph mean? It means to, to overcome, to supersede. It, 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 it means that you are you are a champion. It means that even when they try to put you down, you are not going down. Victory means to triumph. It means success. Victory means success. Victory means, victory means triumph. It means success. Brothers and sisters, think about this. Victory means you are a conqueror. You are a conqueror. You are a conqueror. That's what it means. That is what it means. So in other words, when you engage grace. When you draw the attention of God to a favorable place, ha, ya, ya, you, you cook up a favorable place. Uh, you are looking for promotion and nobody want to give you that promotion. <laughs> Listen to me, you don't need to depend on any man. He said, let no man go in any man for all things are yours. You don't need to depend on any man. You know what you need to do? You need to cast your burden upon the Lord. You need to look unto God. You need to focus your attention unto God. God, engage praise. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Engage. I, I wish you are with somebody. If there is nobody close to you, touch yourself and say, I'm going to engage praise because I know I can change this situation. I know I can get the solution I need. I know I can get the job I'm looking for. I know I'm getting married at the date I have fixed at my calendar. I know I'm buying that car. I know this sickness I'm coming out of it. I know the pains I'm coming out of it. I know this trouble, this trying times, it has not come to last. You know why? It has come to pass. It has come to pass. You begin to get praise. You begin to praise God. You begin to celebrate Celebrate him. You may not know how to speak English. Speak your language. You may not know how to dance. Dance anything you want. Play the song. Celebrate him. Sing unto the Lord. He said, Rejoice, only two children, for ye are of God. Hallelujah. Mm. I, I, I'm feeling like uh, uh, there's somebody somewhere now. God is talking to you. God is ministering to your spirit. You have you have you have shed tears for too long. You have cried for too long. You can't continue like that. Look at the word of God. Did you see where we read? He said, God silenced the enemy out of your praise. He silenced the enemy out of your praise. Who is that enemy in your life? I've come to let you know. It ceased from existing. It is no longer existing. It's no longer existing. I've brought to you a weapon this beautiful evening. And I want you to know that God is going to use your praise as a weapon to give you undeniable solution. Undeniable victory. Undeniable blessing. As you put to practice what I've taught you this afternoon, be rest assured that you are walking into your celebration. You are walking into your victory. I want you to say this afternoon, I cannot fail. I cannot be disadvantaged. I cannot be stopped because I have the key. The key of victory. I have that key. The key of victory. I have it. Hallelujah. I have it. I want us to pray now wherever you are. I'm going to lead you into two powerful prayer points and I want you to pray. You're going to say this after me. Say, oh God of heaven, this moment I lift my voice unto you. I begin to praise you for my miracles. I begin to praise you for my miracles. I begin to praise you for my job. I begin to praise you for the testimonies that I've seen and the ones I've not seen yet. The ones that are on the way coming and the ones that are, that are yet to manifest. The ones I've seen, Lord, I praise you for my family. Lord, I praise you for my loved ones. Lord, I praise you for those who their joy is my joy. I praise you for my expectation. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Le kamatu Ereka palatsa kata makalo shepelego porodo sikapata ekorode 
Sheke para kuze parada. Inka lo peke to ze peka lu ze peka lu katalaba. Ereke kosa pata para kosa parada. I praise you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. There is none to be compared to you. Maleko pola basata. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, not to be compared. You are worthy. You are wonderful. You are glorious. You are mighty in all your ways. Oh, we bow down and worship. Oh, hallelujah. I praise you for testimonies. I praise you for the miracle babies. I praise you for the miracle job. Rakosopa. I praise Praise you for the viewers and the hearers, oh God. I praise you. I praise you for what you said to do. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And one more time, you are going to pray this prayer. You are going to say this after me. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus. As I praise you, every mountain before me, they go down. As I praise you, every mountain before my family, they go down. As I praise you, every mountain before my job, they go down. Are you ready? Come on, lift your voice and holler in other tongues. Mighty one, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, I am that I am the bright and morning star the God that is the God that was the God that's to become, I am is your name, you are ever present help in time of trouble you are the God that is the God that reigns, the God that rules, Balashata I shall worship, the mountains go down, every difficulty go down, lift your voice and declare, lift your voice and declare, in the name of Jesus Finally, we're going to pray for our country, Nigeria. We're going to thank God for this country because we know this country must get better. This country must get better. This country must get better. You're going to say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you are fixing this country. I thank you. You are fixing our leadership. I thank you. You are fixing our government. I thank you. You are putting things in place. Open your mouth and pray where you are. 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 You Yes, Lord, we thank you for you are fixing our country, Nigeria. You are putting things in place in the name of Jesus. You are fixing our leadership. You are fixing our government. You are fixing this country. It's going to get better. For the Bible says, we are the salt of our fish are trouble upon. He said, we possess it. Why? We are the salt of the earth, the city that is set on the hill, that cannot be hidden for the sake of the righteous. This country is being put in order. We thank you. We thank you. This country is being put in order. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Before I leave, I want you to put your hands in, in your body. If you have a CV, you have a point of contact, you have anything you need God glory to come upon and you want him to give you victory to to give you unusual testimony lay your hands upon it father in the name of Jesus as I stretch my hands towards the hearers this moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak to their point of contact I speak to them wherever they are in the east, west, north, and south, wherever they are, hearing the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, I declare. I declare. I declare. Let that be a miracle now. 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 
Receive your miracle as you praise God. Receive your miracle baby. Receive your miracle child. Receive your healing in your body. Receive that contract you have been looking for. Receive that job opportunity you have been looking for. Receive the money to start that business in the name of Jesus. Receive that opportunity you are looking for. Take it now as the Lord release it unto you. Give him praise wherever you are. Give him praise. Give him praise. The Lord is good and his mercies endureth forever. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to use this special opportunity to thank you for tuning in this Friday evening. And I believe, God, that you are blessed till we meet again. And I must say a very big thank you to uh, my father for the wonderful opportunity given to me to uh, bring this word to you today. Thank you very much. And God honor you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless.